Hey everyone, today we're going to go over some of the basics to filters in Google Sheets. Using this fake client list to our left, we're going to go over some examples on filter views and how you can sort data in a range. So the first thing we need to do is create our filter. And how are we going to do that? Well, we need to highlight this whole range of data that we want to use. And when we highlight it, we want to make sure we have our headers also highlighted so we have something to filter by. So when we highlight it, we're going to click on data, create a filter. And just like that, you have your filters with these little green triangles on your header row. Now that we've created our filter, we can use this filter to sort the data in this table. Now I'll start with the most basic way you can sort it. You can sort it by alphabetical order or numerical order in some cases. So let's sort by company name from A to Z. So you're, you're going to have to click on your filter in the company heading and then simply click sort A to Z. And then you see the companies are sorted in alphabetical order and all their correct data to the right of it matches up. You could also sort it from Z to A. And these are more used in a numerical sense than an alphabetical sense. So we could sort by account number, A to Z, and that will give you the age of the accounts. Or you could sort by dollars, whatever. A to Z or Z to A, very simple ways to sort using a filter. There are plenty of other ways you can sort your data using a filter as well. For example, we can click on a filter. We'll do the company name again. And then you see we used sort A to Z and Z to A. But then there's also other options like sort by color, filter by color, filter by condition, filter by values. Now sort by color would be sorting colors in order, keeping one color together. You could sort by colors of the rainbow, having all the cells that are red first, then orange, then yellow, and so on. Then you could also filter by color, filter by condition, filter by values. For the sake of our data here, we're going to filter by values. Now when you filter by values, what you're able to do is check off certain companies in this case that you don't want to see in the filter. Uh, let's actually do state for this. So we'll click on the state filter. And then here are the four states that all of the clients in this data table belong to. So if we wanted to only see companies that were from New York and Pennsylvania, then we would take the checks off of Connecticut in Massachusetts and hit OK. Now you see all of our Connecticut and Massachusetts data isn't there. It's not gone. It's just filtered away. Now say we wanted to sort by large companies and still do New York and Pennsylvania. Now we'll click on the filter under type and then you see large, intermediate, and small. We'll take the check mark off of intermediate and off of small. Now we should only have large companies and the filter for state is still on, so we should only have large companies in New York and Pennsylvania. And there's only two of them. So this is the correct filter for large companies in New York and Pennsylvania. Now, if we wanted to choose another filter, but we wanted to save this filter as one that we have easy access to without going through all those steps, we can save as filter view. So what you do is you go back to data, filter views, save as filter view, and it will take the current filter view that we have on and save it as a preset filter. And it'll bring up this little option here. You can name it. So we'll name it New York and Pennsylvania large. Now that we have this filter view saved, we can exit out of it. And then we can go back into data, filter views, and see it right there, New York and Pennsylvania large. And there it is. So this was an example of where we took our filters and then saved it as a filter view. Now what you could also do is go back to the original range. So reset the state and type. And then you're going to highlight the whole thing again data, 
filter views and then we're going to create a new filter view from scratch. And in this one, you bring up this filter option again and then say we wanted to do Connecticut and Massachusetts intermediate companies. Then we'll get rid of New York, Pennsylvania. We'll get rid of small and large. And then we have Connecticut, Massachusetts intermediate. So we can name this filter as well. And it's basically the same process, just a slightly different step to get here. So that's pretty much it as far as the basics of filters go. Um, now you see if we go into data, filter views, we have our two filter views here. If you ever wanted to get rid of one, you could click on it, go into settings in the top right here, and then you can... I mean, you could update it, rename, duplicate to make something similar, but you could also just delete it if you don't want it. And that's pretty much it for the basics of filters. Now, I hope you liked this video and enjoyed it. I have a few other videos too that I think would be worth checking out. And if you were to like, comment, subscribe, that would be awesome. Thanks.